title. My hometown was throwing a huge celebration and parade and ceremony. Uh, so I packed my things up and traveled to Ohio for the day. My mom helped organize the parade with a lot of people from the city council and um, the community got, got involved and, and, and it turned out to be an amazing event. started out at an old school that I went to and ended up wrapping up at the junior high that I attended. People packed the streets from start to finish and we're just cheering and we're throwing candy out and Maddox there he was excited you know this is the day that he looked forward to you when know, the belt was home finally home he got to you know, put it in his man cave and he was so excited and just a smile on his face I didn't see my family so happy my girlfriend was there my brother was there I got to spend some time with my mother and, and a lot of my family members that I haven't seen in years. So it was nice to just come home and, and stay grounded and get rooted before I you know, shipped off to do this next six weeks of the Ultimate Fighter. Good morning, everyone. Up and at them way too early. Um, today I'm packing up the Winnebago, heading to Las Vegas to coach Tough 25. Pretty excited about it. Um, but yeah, me and the family, and by family, I mean me, the wife, and three dogs packing up, heading to Vegas. I am captain of this big old ship. We're driving this thing through the snow over the pass into Vegas. Team Dillashaw, symbol in the Winnebago. Smokey's in first. Cash, Miho, and Rebecca. Get in there, bud. Come on. <laughs> After I beat John Lineker at UC 207, I got a call from Sean Shelby. He asked me to uh, coach the Ultimate Fighter. You know, I was expecting a title fight, but I'm going to get that title fight as well as get to coach the Ultimate Fighter, something I've always wanted to do. And so I instantly had to pack up my family, you know, my wife and my dogs, and drive the RV out to La uh, Las Vegas from uh, Colorado and uh, made a fun little trip out of it. All right, well, I figured we need to take, make a little pit stop, do some. Uh, BMT kickboxing drills at Ludwig Martial Arts. Hey, wait, wait, oh, sorry. <laughs> A good time. I'll see you in Vegas. Dude. I'll be out there, yeah. yeah okay. It's gonna be awesome, dude. Should I go do some stuff? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Man, this is amazing. This is super cool. Decided to stop in Moab so we can check out the sites today. People have always talked about going to Moab, but uh, seeing it in person was a whole nother experience. Is that a Yeti? Oh no, that's just Rebecca. <laughs> she it was like cold, you know, having to hike through some snow and uh, went on some cool hikes and, and you know, like I said, checking out the arches ah, and just the beautiful move. scenery and just kind of soaking it all up. Uh, and the dogs, the dogs love the road trip. Anytime we can take them in, in the Winnebago, they're gonna eat it up. And uh, you know, it was just a fun little experience. What'd you think? This is success. Fun. We came unprepared, in the wrong clothing, <laughs> uh -oh. definitely the wrong shoes, but we're adventurers. We made it. You know, being in Vegas for this whole show is, is a long experience, and I wanted to make it most like home and comfortable as possible, and uh, that's having my wife and my dogs with me. Came over the hill, see the lights of Vegas. Top 25, here we come. Team Killershaw is taking over. <laughs> 